Hello. Welcome to Country Living with the Waves. I'm Philip. This is Pea Turkey. And this is our 2003 Club Car DS 48 volt. Um, we've bought this about four years ago, I believe. And in that four years, I've had to replace the M car uh, twice. Uh, I've replaced the brushes uh, on the motor once. And I've replaced the bushings on the leaf springs once. Now, of course, when we bought it, it was just after we bought it that the M core messed up. And the reason I knew uh, what it was was I would press the accelerator pedal and the speed would go up and down, up and down. It wasn't consistent. This time when I replaced it four years later, um, I would press the pedal and nothing happened, press it, nothing happens, press it, nothing happens. And then suddenly it would start to go. So I knew it was the M core again. Luckily, the M core only takes about 15 minutes to replace. and um, it only cost uh, about $46, so it's not an expensive repair. Uh, now, on the motor, I did have a problem with the motor when I went to uh, pull the motor out to replace the brushes, and that made a very interesting video. The motor was stuck. Uh, also, I did the video on replacing the bushings. Now, uh, none of these repairs were expensive. I think the brush kit for the motor was about $25. The uh, bushing kit uh, for the leaf springs was... I want to say it was about $23 or $24 as well. And I made a video on that one and a video on the motor repair. Uh, and I also made a video on replacing the M core today. So these are easy to do repairs that you can do yourself. You only have two devices to control the speed. You have the brake and you have what we call in the car a gas pedal. This is a go pedal. The electric models have a potentiometer. That's a speed reference controller. Uh, that's directly under the pedal on the bottom and it's called an M core M C O R this is what the M core module looks like it has a spline um, sp section here for the spline shaft that's attached to the accelerator pedal fits right into there it has a screw mounting hole a screw mounting hole an alignment a pin and an alignment pin so you can't put it in wrong you just have to make sure the pedal is not depressed so that the, the splines line up in timing with the pedal. It has two cable connections on the side. One of them is for the speed reference control, this one, and this one up here the, with the two connectors on it is the stop switch. The M core module is underneath on the passenger side. There it is right there. It's pretty easy to get to. All right, I'm going to go underneath. And hopefully, you'll be able to see the module. Here's the module. And on the back side of it, I see all there is is just two mounting screws, two holes for the pins to line into, and the spline shaft. The spline shaft goes back to the accelerator pedal. The first thing I need to do is the toe switch, run switch, put it in the toe position. You may have to jack yours up in the front so you can access it. Make sure your brakes are locked before you do anything underneath. Mine has large diameter wheels on it, so my frame is higher off the ground. My floor is clean, so I should be able just to slide right underneath there. Uh, and quickly change this part out. Well, here's the one I've just taken off. It, on the outside, it looks perfectly fine. Took about a whole three minutes to put a 516 socket on there and unscrew these two. There wasn't enough room in there to get a nut driver on there, so I used a socket. Uh, you have to push the little tab in on the plug to make these come loose, but they were really tight, so I had to push the tab, tab in and really work it back and forth as I pulled it make sure you don't pull the wires you might pull the wires out of the plug so this is the new one uh, i'm going to take it and put it on all i have to do is just line it up and slide slide it straight in on the shaft make sure the two little peg little alignment holes are are in the right position put the two screws in the back and then i just plug it in it might take me five minutes this is the spline shaft this is the end that fits right into the m core the other end fits on the bottom of the accelerator pedal linkage. Now if you take it off and it's confusing, it's real easy. Um, there's a hole in the middle 
and the two pegs go on the top. So if you put it in, it's put in like this with the pegs on the top. Slides right back into the accelerator linkage. One more thing I want to show you about the spline. When the two pins are at the top, as, as, uh, <clears throat> as the pedal turns, it causes this to rotate. But if you look at the spline, the spline's not balanced. I mean, one of the splines, let's see if I can stop here, one of the splines, this one right here, is a little bit bigger than the others. If you look at this, the one on the bottom is a little bit bigger. So they have to fit together or it will not go in. See if I can line it up here. There, fits just right. So when it's connected in correctly, the connections go to the back of the, of the golf cart. The two little pegs will be on the top of the spline shaft and the spline fits to right easily straight into the M core. Well, the M core was the problem. It was real simple to fix. I think I spent a total of 15 minutes of it in the shop and it's ready to go. Do it yourself, easy. Since I did the repair and made this video, I've learned that there were four types of M cores that were actually made uh, for the DS uh, model, the DS48 volt like this one. Uh, the factory hasn't made these since about uh, 2012, but uh, all you can get now is just the uh, cheaper ones that are made in China that don't last very long, but they are, they are cheap and they only take about 15 minutes to repair, to replace. Um, however, there is a kit that you can purchase for about $135, $150, something in that range, that includes a new spline shaft that's a different uh, uh, type shaft uh, that will not fit into this M core, but it'll fit into the M core that comes with the kit and uh, has different electrical connections. And you also have the, the uh, adapter wiring that comes with the kit for about $100, $135, But make sure that you get the correct um, M core for your particular model since there are different ones and they will not interchange. So are you as curious as I am to see what's inside the M core? Well, I see the back side of a printed circuit board. A very simple printed circuit board, single sided, it looks like. Four mounting screws. Ooh, it looks like it's soldered in solid. While I'm waiting for the soldering iron to heat up, I notice that this is a precision bearing right here, and it fits inside this. It needs to be a precision bearing there because that's what's holding the center of the potentiometer. All right, I've got it unsoldered. Oh, spring loaded. Look at there. Here's the switch. Oh, there's the potentiometer wiper. So if I put it back in place like it was, the wipers go against the resistance backing for, to make the potentiometer. But this piece is the cam that presses the stop switch. Listen. So that's how it works on the inside. My opinion about this is we've had this golf cart um, three years or four years. I don't, I don't remember which, maybe three years. And right after we uh, bought it, I was having a speed control problem. I would step on the, the accelerator pedal and it would go sometimes faster, sometimes slower Then it would catch up and then speed would not be consistent. And I know the problem was the potentiometer. The wipers were not making a good contact. So I replaced the M core at that time. I think it was maybe $36 or $37. This one was $42, I believe. And um, 
So, and we only use it, you know, around the house, you know, up to get the mail and back. We use it every day pretty much, but we don't drive that much on it like you would on a, actually on a golf cart, on a golf course. So this to me seems like it must be a very, very common failure. The good thing is it's very easy to fix and it doesn't cost very much money to fix.